Find somewhere to hide, quick. I'll handle him. Depard, it's you. I didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things so tense on the front line. <laughs> the things are manageable. The latest wave of monster attacks has slowed. I'm back in the city to take care of a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. Ah! Oh, yes. That's right. Sis, you look a bit pale. Did something happen? N no Why would anything have happened? You don't normally use my full name. Uh, you said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Well, I agree. It'd sound better if I started using your full name. Ray Brosif. You can call me whatever you like. Look, Serval, I'm here on official business today. There's something wrong with the barrier generator device, and the engineers in our unit don't know how to fix it. I need you to take a look. Those guys can't think outside the box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around my design. <sighs> I thought it was something big. Leave it here. I'll take a look. Sorry to trouble you. Why are you being so polite? Oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? Has something happened? I... I've been instructed to keep it quiet. Lil Jeppy. So grown up now, looking down on his civilian sister. Don't say that. Forget it. If I don't tell you, Pela will. Last night, Lady Bronya suddenly appeared. She entered Klopoth Fort without saying anything to anyone. The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Bronya out of the Fragmentum and back into the Administrative District. She issued a curfew for the entire city and ordered us to pursue and capture any suspicious individuals. Ah, so that's how it is. No wonder I haven't heard from Bronya. Is she all right? I'm not sure. She hasn't left Klopoth Fort. The Supreme Guardian just said she'd returned. Nothing more. <laughs> well, I was sure worried about her. After she disappeared, Pela's workload doubled. She said she barely had time to go out. She really does tell you everything. Oh, by the way, I left my Goethe Hotel limited edition flask behind last time I was here. Let me have a look for it. I think I left it over... Uh, wait! What is it? You seem pretty off today, Serval. It's, um... Right! You remember how you neglected all those flowers to death? I piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning, and now they smell terrible! So, don't go over there. Seems like a strange reason not to take a look. Plus, am I supposed to believe you were spring cleaning? You must be up to more forbidden research. Uh, am not! How dare you! What do you take your sister for? Never mind. This is your space, and I shouldn't intrude. I've got business to take care of. Bye for now. Uh, hey, wait a sec. Uh, those intruders. I wanted to ask. What crime have they committed? They're plotting to overthrow the Architects and bring harm to the city. Huh. Reminds me of the accusations against me. Kokolia's methods haven't changed. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian. But this isn't a joking matter. You're telling me off again? Fine. Whatever, bro. You better be going. Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. I will, if I have the time. The coast is clear. You can come out now. <sighs> Phew! I nearly suffocated! 
what kind of plot device was that? I almost lost my cool when he went for his flask. This is bad. Branya's in danger. We have to go save her. Attempting to storm Klepoth Fort by ourselves? Forget it, Zila. I don't care how skilled you are, I'm not sending you on a suicide mission. Rest assured, Kokolia may have changed over the years, but she never hurt Branya. I'm certain of that. You sound like Branya herself. I don't get it. You guys are against Kokolia, and yet in some ways, you seem to trust her completely. Didn't you hear him? He said he needs to take care of a few matters in the city first. If we're fast enough, we can stay out of his way. Come on, let's go to the restricted zone. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the Stellaron, Kokolia will be out of options. Is Branya really safe? You care about her, huh? You must have become close friends. Uh, close is a bit much, but I made her a promise. Relax. She's the strongest girl I've ever seen. <laughs> I can believe that. up security, all right. How the heck are we gonna sneak in? Serval, we need one of those brainwaves. Leave it to me. Stick close, guys, and don't get spotted. This is a military base. Trespassers aren't allowed in. Wait, isn't that... Ha! <laughs> Serval! Long time no see. Well, if it isn't Franz, long time no see. You still watching the entrance? Well, you see, I... yeah, you haven't changed, Serval. Still nailing us to the wall. So, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers, so he got me in for free. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Oh, please. This is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you going to be responsible for all the frozen corpses? N no, that's uh, not something I could handle. Seeing as you're Captain Jappard's sister, it should be fine. Okay, here are some temporary passes. Oh, and remember to give them back to me when you leave. Thanks, Franz. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. No, no, Captain Jappard hates all that under-the-table stuff. I'd have a better chance if you don't mention me at all. See? That was easy. You're Jappard's sister, all right. <clears throat> I don't want people to... Do you see that mechanical gear bridge? When you cross over to the other side, you arrive at hell on Earth. Hmm. It's a place too cold to bear. Covered in snow and ice. The guys doing the scientific research don't have time to worry about the surroundings. The restricted zone frontline is on the other side of the gear bridge. It's an endless fragmentum with a few exhausted silver main guards and the stench of death in the air. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hell. Are you ready? Right on! I'm stealing that! <laughs> Let's go then. First, we need to think of a way to get to the other side. I help set the underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. It's controlled via different terminals in combination. Let's go find them. Is Jappard on frontline duty a lot? 
Yes, but what made you ask that all of a sudden? It's so dangerous. Don't you worry about him? He's a Landau. Nope. This terminal's offline. We can't control it from here. So what's the plan? Look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. I never would have guessed that Japard and you were brother and sister. I can't say I blame you. We're nothing alike in personality or interests. Darn! Can't activate it. It seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. I... Huh. You know, the more I think about it, the more it seems deliberate. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Or to prevent deserters from escaping. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the Fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. Branya was right. The Silvermane guards really are risking their lives to protect Bella. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the Fragmentum monsters. Let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. That's it! The thing's shaped like a giant iron ball. And it's behind a gate. What are the odds? Its formal name is the Mechanism Energy Hub. It's connected to all the energy lines. I would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone. Hmm. No wonder it's so heavily guarded. One unit for everything? That's a disaster waiting to happen. We learned the hard way. As long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, Sir Vol. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Come on, let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. Yo! Evening, soldier! Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? No dice without the encryption key. Ah, darn. This guy's not stupid. You need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother, then? Uh... Captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. Dunn? Dunn? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? No problem. We'll be back in a bit. <laughs> <laughs> 